Ah, uh, please don't be that type of gamer. Please. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 dick moves while playing video games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at even more dick moves done by gamers that piss everyone else off. These moves are not necessarily prohibited in said games, but just general things that are frowned upon within the community or which go against the unwritten rules of gaming ethics. If you don't see a dick move you think should be on this list, be sure to check out our original video of the top 10 dick moves while playing video games. Seriously, check it out first. Don't comment first. That's a dick move. Number 10, teammate blaming. We have a hide, but there is still a chance to achieve victory. Was your performance not up to snuff? Did the other team just kind of wipe the floor with you? Admit that they were better players and move on with your life? <laughs> no. Blame your stupid, incompetent noob teammates, of course. How dare they play like that with the likes of you? The people that constantly blame their teammates are some of the most annoying gamers you could ever come across, as not only do they sound really childish, but whining accomplishes literally nothing. Believe it or not, yelling at your team will not motivate them to play better. In fact, it'll probably do the opposite. And you look like a doofus who takes the game a little bit too seriously. Leave your teammates alone, come on. Yeah, if you honestly haven't realized by now we're not winning, then I don't know what to tell you. We all ulted and everything, and we still couldn't push through. Number nine, scamming others during online trades. This guy really wants to buy a Plex. He'll give you 350 million ISK for it right now, which is above market value. But when you click on it, you can see he's only going to give you 350,000. Scamming is one of the most reprehensible and selfish things you can ever do online, let alone in real life. So just don't do it, ever. While you might think that you look like a super cool thief from Ocean's Eleven, you're really just an asshole. Scamming in games, particularly MMORPGs, can take a variety of forms, including but not limited to stealing others' money, details, or in-game items, amongst others. Trading with other players takes a significant amount of trust, and by constantly breaking that trust, these scammers are ruining the experience for everyone else and giving themselves a bad name while they're at it. Remember, it's always best to stay clear of deals that are too good to be true, because they usually are. 90% um, of the stuff you see on chat in Jita and Amar is crap anyway, just don't click it. Number 8. Going Rogue Look, we know that the whole lone wolf thing is kind of cool and badass, and for some of the more casual shooters, naming no names, that's fairly acceptable. But for team-based tactical games, please don't be that guy that runs off by himself. We've all seen Leroy Jenkins, and that shit was not funny for the rest of his guild. All right, comes up. Ready, guys, Let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins! While you might get the occasional John Rambo who takes on an entire military squad by himself surrounded by explosions while standing on a 10 foot high pile of bodies, most of the time you'll just end up with a doofus who shoots at the sky and gets himself killed within seconds. In other words, please stick with your team. It's in everyone's best interests, including yours. Defeat. Number seven, false reporting. So you click on the report button. Uh, and then that will load up and then you want to select uh, cheating. The report function is there for a reason. It allows gamers to report genuinely rude, disrespectful, and unwelcoming players. It's not there for you to report some random player for beating you at a game of Halo. This is especially prevalent and troublesome with Xbox Reputation Warning System, where enough negative feedback can leave you with various debilitating roadblocks, like muting your microphone or limiting your matchmaking potential. The mother of an autistic boy in Edgewood is outraged at Microsoft Xbox Live for labeling her son a cheater. Luckily, Microsoft has thought of this and has an algorithm in place to spot potentially false reports. But the point still stands. Don't do it in the first place. Number six, sabotaging vehicles. <laughs> Sometimes a good vehicle fail can be hilarious, like accidentally ending up in the warthog everyone was riding in and throwing them 100 feet into the air. And then there's the malicious ones who just do it on purpose. And let me tell you, that is not cool, bro. While killing everyone in a fiery mess may be fun for some friends, it is endlessly annoying when you're trying to play the game for reals and your teammate keeps intentionally driving everyone off a cliff or crashing the helicopter. Probably the worst yet are the people who would sabotage aircraft in the Battlefield games. Man, that's not how you're supposed to be using the C4. Number five, camping. A strategy that is old as gaming itself, camping is one of the all-time classic and worst dick moves. We all have that one friend, or we've all met that person online, who absolutely refuses to throw themselves into the fray, instead relying on staying in one spot and picking off others as they stumble by. Revenge. 
range. While this might seem like a legitimate strategy if you're sniping or guarding an objective, it's kind of annoying when you can't find anyone in a deathmatch because everyone's hiding in their own corner. Come on, face your enemies like a man, coward. At least there are a few players out there who are creative enough to troll and humiliate campers, and you guys are the real MVPs. Number 4. Spawn Killing Hey, speaking of camping, location is definitely a key factor, and no location is more scummy than right next to the enemy spawn. If there's one thing that quickly ruins everyone else's time and mood in a multiplayer match, it's dying at your spawn. There's nothing more infuriating than being killed, waiting 10 or 20 seconds, and then spawning only to get killed again by the same dude who's waiting at the spawn for you for like the entire game. Unlike camping, spawn killing can never seem like a legitimate strategy. It's simply a nuisance and a pain, and everyone hates you for it. Number three, singling out, harassing other gamers. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Look, we're all playing these games to have fun. Well, most of us anyway. So there's nothing more inappropriate than taking the game too personally and singling out or harassing other gamers. Examples can include everything from hunting only one specific person on the team, harassing female players, you know who you are, directing rude comments at a certain individual during the game, leaving nasty messages in their inbox, or anything else that could be considered harassment if you were doing it in the real world. This goes beyond gaming and it's just kind of a dick move in general, actually. In the words of Rodney King, can we all just get along? Oh my god! Number two, ninja looting in raids. Sunnyside's looting everything. What the? F yeah, oh my god. Uh... Okay, well this one's actually almost entirely out of date, but journey with us to a simpler time when games like World of Warcraft did not have built-in systems that prevented you from being such a dick. Ninja looting is when someone steals the loot that someone else has worked towards and rightfully earned without consulting or asking the rest of the group. Yeah, so you finally killed the boss, and that one piece of armor you've been waiting months for has finally dropped. But oops, that healer you picked up in town decides to yank it and then disconnect from the game. What's worse is that this dickery kind of becomes a self-sustaining loop, as punishment for ninja looting is often rare, leaving others with that mindset of, well, if they're gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it and take the stuff too. And that is how a few bad apples can ruin the whole barrel, folks. Hachi, what the f***, dude? You're still in here, you piece of shit. Number one, smurfing. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what smurfing is, we don't know if we should be proud of you for not practicing it, pity you for being a victim of it, or just not tell you because we don't want you to try. However, for those of you who are unaware, smurfing is when a skilled or high-ranked player creates a brand new account so they can join matchmaking with less experienced players in order to beat on them and score an easy victory. Oh my flash. It's sort of like if an NFL player decided to join a Pee Wee football league so he could just get more touchdowns. This can be done for a variety of reasons, like trying out some new tactics without ruining your stats on your main account. But most of the time it's just because you enjoy beating on newbies because you have no soul. And yes, that's why every so often you'll come across a level 1 player that seems like they've been playing the game for years. Chances are, they really have. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.